from slide nerd this is weaves what's up guys how are you guys doing today so often we ask questions like this if you look at this guy he's pretty odd right so in this program we are going to look at something and ask whether it's odd or even it's a simple program so let's go ahead and see what the output looks like you ask the user enter a number he says 9 9 is odd you ask the user enter a number he says 4 you say 4 is even now if you guys know what is an odd number or an even number something like this even number is divisible by 2 and an odd number is not divisible by 2 but what does that mean that's the question right so if you divide by 2 if you take an even number divide by 2 find the remainder it's a 0 right if you have an odd number like say 3 you divide by 2 2 goes one time in 3 but you get a remainder of 1 which is non zero right so any even number the remainder is 0 any odd number the remainder is non zero right so to find the remainder, you know what needs to be done. In Java, you have something that easily finds the remainder for you. It's called the modulus operator. So simply have the number, divide by 2, find the remainder using the modulus. If you say number, person 2, that's going to take the remainder of number divided by 2, right? So it, is it 0? If it is 0, then that means it's even. If it is not 0, then it means odd. It's a pretty simple program. Again, we'll go to NetBeans, get this baby up and running. So here I am in NetBeans, I have the stuff pasted, buffered reader for taking input from the user. I have a throws exception stuff written over here to ensure that the input does not give me any errors. And I have an import statement to tell Java that, hey, this is buffered reader, hey, this is input stream reader. So now, let's go ahead, ask the user to enter the number. System.out.println, enter number. So now we need to store this in an integer, but we'll say reader dot read line. At this point, the input mechanism is gonna read stuff from the keyboard and give it to your program as a string. But remember, we need an integer. If you say integer number is something like this, it's gonna be an error. So use a function called parse int to convert the string into an integer. And this is inside a class called integer, right? So if you guys have a, don't know how to how input is taken, you have links up on my vid, you can check them out. Alright, so now let's go and see. Now, number person 2. Now this means divide the number by 2 and take the remainder. If this is 0, then it's an even number, right? You simply print even, else it's an odd number right you say even over here you say odd over here that's all you do so go ahead control s for saving shift f6 for running enter the number 2 yep 2 is even enter the number say 10 10 is even enter the number say 9 9 is odd so i hope you guys understood something out of this if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel i would love to hear from you guys comment let me know what you think about this have a nice day i'll catch you guys later